Hello everyone, I am Harleen Kaur with my third video lecture. Hope you all are fit and fine. Now it's time for you to prepare your fair notebooks. Let's start with the first page. So on the very first page, you are going to put the date on the top left corner and then write the chapter number and name of the chapter in the middle of the page. On the second page, you are going to make the mind map as I have also made in my two videos. So here you are going to write the name of the chapter in the center and rest all the contents arranged around it. So the contents are numbers beyond 9999, places, periods, face value and place value, writing numerals for the given names, standard form and expanded form, comparing number, Indian and international system of numeration, rounding off to nearest tens and hundred. And the last topic is Roman numerals up to 50. Now come to the third page. Here you have to start your exercise 1.1. Put the data again on the left side. Question number one is write the given numbers in the place value chart and give the place value of the colored digit. So first you need to prepare the place value chart. As I have already discussed with you the place value chart in my video lecture number one, we are dividing it into three parts. That is three period that is one thousand and lakh. Under ones we are having ones tens hundred places. Under 1000, we are having 1000 and 10,000 places. Under the lakh, we are having lakh and 10 lakh places. So the number I am going to fill up in this box from the right side. I will write 0 under the 1's place, 2 under the 10's place and so on. If you will see in the question, we have also given the question. The place value of color digit. Here color digit is number 7. 7 is the face value. And its place is lag. So the place value of number 7 is 7 lag. D part you are going to do yourself my kids. Here's your question number 2. Mark the period by placing the commas and write the name of the given number. So first step is to put the places. 1, 10, 100, 1000, 10,000 and lag. Then we will fill up the number under those places. And... After every period, we have to mark the comma. So after lakh, we will put comma. After thousand period, we will put comma. So the number name becomes 4,3256. The T part you will do yourself. Now comes the question number 10, 3. Write the numerals for the given names with the help of place value chart. Here the number name given to us is 32,516. So first step is to write the places. 1, 10, 100, 1,000, 10,000 and lakh. So I will write under those places 32,000. So I will write 3 under 10,000 place and 2 under the 1,000 place. 5 is under 100 place and then 16. 16 means only 1s and 10s place we will consume here. So the B part you will do in your notebooks yourself. Question number 4. That you are going to fill up your books. And for that you need to refer the video lecture number 1. Here's the question number 5. Name the places in the 1000 period. As we have already discussed that we are having in the Indian place value system. We are having 3 periods. 1, 1000 and lakh period. Under the 1's period we are having once tens hundred and under the thousand period we are having thousands and ten thousand and that's our answer next question is name the period which come before the lakh period so the period before here i have given you one gnome as we always pick the period as well as the places from the right side so before the lakh period we are having thousands period the next question is write the smallest five digit number in words. So smallest five digit number is one zero 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 zero. And in words we are writing it as ten thousands. Next is write the greatest seven digit number in figures by separating periods. Here we separate period by putting the commas and greatest seven digit number is we have to write number nine seven times. So I have written it. 9999999 nine, 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 nine. 
and after every period we have to put the comma so after 99 lakh comma 99000 comma 999 this is our answer here question number 9 you will do in your books only that is complete the number pattern first you need to observe the pattern here in this question we have 76594 76,694, 76,794. I have circled the digit 5, 6, 7. It means on the 100 place we can see the change. So, the pattern will become adding up of 100. So, the next numbers are 76,894, 76,994 and 77,094. You will observe the b and c part pattern and do it yourself next question is write four consecutive numbers coming just after 32065 just after means you have to write the next numbers it means you will simply add one here so after 32065 we are having 32066 32067 32068 and 32060 9. Here's the B part. Write 5 consecutive numbers coming just before 23658. Before means you have to do the back counting here. So before 58 we are having 23657, 23656, 23655, 23,654 and 23,653. Now we are having the last question of this exercise. That is answer the following question for the number 56,987. A part is write the place value of digit 8. Now sorry. First is place value of digit 5. So here 5 is on 10,000 place. So we will multiply 5 with 10,000 and we will get the answer 50,000. Second is write the place value of digit 8. Now 8 lies on the 10th place. So we will multiply it by 10 and the answer is 80. C part is write the digit whose place value is 6,000. Now here place value is already given to us and the we have to write the digit. Digit means we have to write the face value. So, face value of 6000 is number 6. So, this was our exercise 1.1. Now, let's start with exercise 1.2. First question is write in expanded form. As I have already told you in video lecture number 2, before writing the expanded form, first step is you have to write the places. So, I have put the places 1, 10, 100, 1000, 10,000 and lakh. Under those places, I will write up my number that is 752953. Now, we will write the expanded form. 7 is on the lakh place. So, our number becomes 7 lakh. Plus, 5 is on 10,000 place. Number becomes 50,000. 2 is on the 1,000 place. So, the number becomes 2,000. And 9 is on the 100 place. We will write 900. 5 is on the 10th place. We will write 50. And 3 is only on the 1's place. 1's place means you have to multiply the number with only 1. So, here if after writing the sign of addition, we have expanded it. D part you will do in your notebooks yourself. Second question is write the following in standard form. Earlier we have expanded. Like I have you given you the example of the rubber band also. When you are stretching the rubber band, it means you are expanding it. And if you will leave it, it means it comes in the standard form or the short form. Now the number is 7 into 1 lakh plus 8 into 10,000 plus 2 into 1,000 plus 9 into 100 plus 6 into 10 plus 5 into 1. So first step is you will multiply the face value with the places. So we get the answer 7 lakh plus 80,000 plus 2,000 plus 900 plus 60 plus 5. Second step is write the places. So, I have written 1, 10, 100, 1000, 10,000 and like after writing the places, we will just simply fill up those places. So, 7 comes under the lakh place, 8 under 10,000, 2 under the 1000, 9 under 100, 6 under the tens and 5 under the ones place. Here, I have given you in the homework C part. 
and I have given you one hint also for this question. Don't forget to put zero under the places which do not have any digit. Means first step you will do as it is, as I have done in A part. But when you will write the second step, means after writing the places, under the places, if you will find that some place is missing, like if you will see in the question, I have not given you thousand place and ones place. So what will come under there? You will write zero over there. Now, I think you are very comfortable to prepare your notebooks. Thank you everyone.